Hello everyone, welcome to another video. Today I will show you how to set up Binance Futures Grid Trading Bot. Now, uh, for this bot to work, you will need to make sure to move your funds from your spot wallet to your futures wallet. So let's go to wallet here, let's go to overview. And you can also go to fiat and spot as well. Maybe it's easier that way. And then you can go here to transfer and make sure to transfer from fiat and spot or maybe from your funding wallet if you have some money from your funding wallet to your USDM futures here. Now, once you, uh, once you, you know, uh, transfer your coin that you want to trade, obviously, then we will go here to trade and we'll go to strategy trading. Now, once we are on strategy trading, uh, what you can also do is you can see all the strategy pools right here. Once they will uh, basically uh, load up right here, as you can see, you have spot grid, you have futures grid right here. So you already have futures grid bots that you can use or pools that you can use. Um, you know, I would definitely advise you, uh, you know, not to use it. You can try them, but again, it's at your own risk. Uh, you can click here, create strategy, and then we can go instead of spot grid. We already did tutorial on that. We can go to futures grid, so we can click create here. And uh, yeah, basically right here, we're on uh, futures grid, as you can see. Now here, you know, they will, uh, Binance will basically give us welcome to futures grid, all the good stuff, right? Now, uh, again, you know, before going and trading, um, you know, make sure you're picking more pairs and, you know, most of the bots will make profits, but make sure to be safe with your money and investments, right? So pick a coin that you're confident uh, and that you're confident in, right? That you know how to trade in and uh, yeah, that will ma basically make sure that you don't lose any money. So uh, right now we can go to manual here on the right side of the screen. We can click neutral if we want to short a term trade or long if we want to long term trade. Short is great for uh, bear markets, right? If it's not a good market, then make sure to put short, right? But neutral is the best, I think, right? Because, you know, with, with neutral, it will be always neutral. And I think that's that's the best way to go for it. So, uh, yeah, you can click neutral if you want to short term trade. And then you can click on geometric uh, interval. I think that is uh, the best. You can also adjust uh, these to make sure it's isolated. Now, I would advise you to really read what this means, right? This is a margin mode. Um, now, isolated is what I would recommend uh, without going too deep into this right here. Uh, isolated is what I'm going to be using for these tutorial. So you can confirm. And then for the leverage, you can adjust leverage right here. The more leverage you have, the less money you will need, but the less leverage you, you have, the more money you will need. So let's say we put at 20X, right? We'll put that here. And then as you can see, selecting high leverage increases your liquidation risk as well. So make sure to also adjust that by your risk tolerance. So click confirm. Here we can put the lower price. So for example, we can pick a lower price and an upper price that we're confident to trade with. So let's say we're going to trade with a coin that we're really, really um, know. And let's say that coin is, for example, XRP. So we can click XRP USD right here. So the lowest for the XRP was, what is it? 0 0.28 and the highest was 0 0.91. So we can do in is put the lower price at 0.91. 25 or I would say 20 or 30 actually, which is this right here. It's really close 30 and then upper price would be 0 0.90. So these are basically the, the lowest and the highest price that grids grids are basically all the, you know, um, price movement or price change. So for example, if we put 150 grids, uh, as you can see, you will get a, uh, you know, good amount of percentage. If we put lower grids, Will, our percentage will basically grow and this is percentage and profits with fees deducted as you can see. So as you can see, let's put 50 and then as you can see here, you will be able to put the amount you want to trade. So if we put here the amount, we will see that as you can see, we have insufficient USDT balance. We have minimum USD investment required to run this grid strategy is 26.9. So let's say we put 26.9 here. We don't have that money right here, but you can also, you know, go here and you can uh, pretty much uh, put the XRPs. But yeah, basically, uh, you know, this price will change depending on many factors. So let's say we have uh, here adjust leverage. Let's say we lower the leverage to six. Let's say we click confirm. Let's say we put, um, you know, 150 grids 
and as you can see it uh you know it went from 26 or what is it 29 to 263 so this is what changes the price right so let's say we put here 263 right 0.67 if we want to change it again you know we can lower the grids it will lower the price right uh, if we uh, go to the adjust leverage if we put a lot of leverage here we can confirm and then it will lower the price as you can see uh, if we put lower leverage we will higher the price right so as you can see right here it will be the higher price right so this is basically how to how to do it so as you can see you can set up the leverage cross or isolated as i said isolated is usually the safest pick and then you can adjust leverage and everything right here uh, and obviously the more leverage as i said the less money you need to invest now here you can click create and make sure when you're creating these bots that you know what you're doing you actually know that you know you're setting up a futures bot and not a spot grid bot, right? And that, that you know what you're doing. So make sure to take this at your own risk. And yeah, if you have any questions regarding this, comment down below and I'll help you out with anything regarding this uh, video tutorial. And yeah, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you in the next video.